This is the Free Motion Quilting Tutorial for Channel Weave. This video is a part of the Free Motion Quilting Project created by Leah Day. Check out other designs and share them with your friends at freemotionproject.com. Now let's get back to Channel Weave. This design is stitched by first starting with these narrow triangle shapes. You can see I kind of started and stitched these narrow triangles into my quilting space from edge to edge. And, of course, I have to admit I accidentally forgot to turn my camera on <laughs> until this point of the video. So I'm going to try and explain how this is filled as best I can. So one half of the design is filled with this woven texture. And basically to stitch that, all you do is stitch in one direction, kind of on the diagonal, for about three or four lines. And then you're going to travel stitch and simply branch out in the opposite direction, slightly on the diagonal, and stitch three or four lines in that direction as well. It's easier if you go ahead and branch out with a longer line. That way you know the line is nice and straight. You can see how I did that in that pocket right there. When you start with a smaller line, like you're seeing me do right here, it is harder to keep the line straight and at the same kind of diagonal angle as the rest of the lines simply because it's hard to estimate with a really short line. So I hope that makes sense. And you can see what this texture looks like stitched in a full triangle right there and in that corner. It's a very beautiful design, very very simple texture. Now the opposite triangles, the ones on the other side, they're filled with a very simple bouncy echo. I'm just simply uh, arching around, bouncing back and forth uh, from one edge of that triangle to the other, just simply filling in that space with these soft curves. And it really creates a nice contrast in textures. You've got the half circles, these arches in one area, and you've got these straight lines woven together in the other area. And it's two contrasting textures. It's curvy lines and straight lines. And that creates something that your eye is really drawn to and really attracted to. It's going to be something that works really well in the borders or the sashing of your quilt because you do work this from edge to edge. Kind of the foundation of the design is simply stitching those triangles first and then going in and filling them. It works from edge to edge so it's going to work best in kind of a narrow area that's uncomplicated that doesn't have anything else in it. So definitely try it on your next quilt. Here's what it looks like whenever you finish channel weave. If you enjoyed this video, please check out over 300 more at the Free Motion Quilting Project. That's at freemotionproject.com.